What's good guys, my name is Nazri from Elementary FX and today I'll be going through everything there is to know about Polygon and how you can utilize Polygon. If you haven't seen, used or heard of Polygon before, well this is it. This is what Polygon's user interface looks like. It's clean, it's neat and most importantly, it's very simple to use. Polygon can be very useful to traders who are looking to get started trading harmonics or you know, even seasoned traders who want to cut down on time spent analyzing patterns. So for the sake of this video to make it simple, I'll be starting from the top left hand corner before going down to the bottom left, the bottom right and then the top right. So at the top left hand corner of uh, Polygon and MetaTrader 4, you'll see the toggle on and off switch. So basically once you have Polygon installed uh, into MetaTrader 4, all you gotta do is turn it on and off. And right below it, you'll see three things. You'll see Marco at elementaryeffects.com, which is Polygon's developer, you'll see the expiry date and you'll see your name. Uh, we'll start off with uh, Marco's email. If you have any questions about Polygon or any issues or you know you want to you have some improvements you, you may want to suggest, do feel free to email Marco. He'll um, get back to you as soon as possible and of course it's always a, a good thing to hear from you guys. Um, right below Marco's email you'll see the expiry date depending on what version you use, uh, whether it's the trial or the trial or the polygon pro version you'll have an expiry date here of course if you are a polygon pro user uh, as in you're a member of elementary fx your version of polygon will not expire but if you are a trial or a free um, user of polygon i believe that it expires at the end of every month um and right below it you'll see your name and of course whether you're a free user a trial or uh a pro user or even an admin and in this case i'm an admin for elementary effects so that's why it states nazri admin all right so now that's it we'll look at what we have right below uh which is the most interesting part about polygon if i can say so myself um because mine is an admin version i have i think uh this many patterns but uh, if you if you are a Polygon Pro or even a trial version user, I think you will have about one, two, three. I think about five or six patterns. But there's nothing to be worried about because, uh, honestly, I don't even use like half of this all, all the patterns right here. Um, if I may suggest, I would recommend uh trading the cipher pattern, the godly pattern, even the pet or the butterfly pattern. Basically, the ones that you know, the simple ones that that are easy to understand and easy to trade. Um, so you'll also notice that right above the patterns we have uh, something called a dashboard and if you click on it you'll go to this uh, black screen but uh, this I'll actually explain this in another time in another day in another video so for today we'll just focus on the harmonic scanner which is polygon um, so once you have all the different um, all the different uh, patterns available to you I think I think for a pro user, you have the head and shoulders, double top, godly, godly, max, cypher, bat, uh, butterfly, crap, I think, I'm not so sure, but um, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to show you, for example, uh, and in this case, in this example, we'll be looking at the cypher pattern, and of course, we are on the USDN on the 30 minute chart, what happens if I toggle on, on the cypher pattern, this happens, it looks messy, yes, I understand, but this is why we have this video to clear things up and you know help you guys out make it neat for you to use uh, polygon so if you click on cypher or even the guard leap pattern you'll you'll see that there's a lot of different uh, different colors and different shapes and uh basically it's the same cypher pattern that happened over and over again but um what um if you are wondering how you can select uh, or you know individually or maybe even clean up your chart you you have all these patterns that uh, polygon Polygon has selected for you, how you want to narrow it down to maybe the top four or top three patterns. Well, first of all, we look at the we look at the toggles below. We have time frames and in this uh in this example we have the 30 minutes, the hourly and the four hourly time frame selected. Now if you wanna you know if you wanna narrow it down to 30 minute chart, all you gotta do is just you know toggle off the hourly and the four hourly and you'll have this many patterns. Now still a lot, I understand. Um that's why we have these toggles right beside the time frame toggle 
it says all life and future right if you want to see a pattern uh, from the past all you got to do is toggle off the life and future so what this means is that it shows you patterns all patterns that have happened in the past and this is a uh, very useful to traders who are very interested in um, back testing because this gives you an opportunity to look at all the different cipher patterns that have traded in the past and how you can potentially you know improve on your entries and so on and so forth so i would definitely recommend uh using this tool if you are uh, this toggle right here if you are you know interested in back testing and want to improve your own analysis now live patterns is a uh, are patterns that are occurring right now and right now we actually have a live cipher pattern which is this one right but I'll, I'll get to that later on how you can individually select this pattern because it's not selected right uh it's not actually selected yet um future patterns are basically patterns you want to see or you want to trade potentially in the future future patterns are patterns that have yet to complete and can potentially be traded once it's completed so for example this pattern goes up here it's a potential selling opportunity because this is a bearish cipher pattern now for example um this is where i'm going to explain how you can individually select patterns uh you you see so many different um patterns right here and you want to select one all you got to do is look to your right right here the toggle right here and just click left and basically it'll show you all the different patterns that you can take uh, in the future and right now there are potentially eight patterns to be traded and I can um, almost expect people to ask me now I have eight different patterns right here eight different cipher patterns all looking very good all following different ratios which do I take the answer is simple you don't take all of them you take the patterns that agree with your rules of trading for example i personally trade harmonics with supply and demand so if there were there there was if there was a supply zone around here instead of here or instead of right above here if there was a supply zone here most likely i would take this pattern right here the one at the bottom but if you know i see a supply zone somewhere above i would potentially take that instead right so that's um how you can uh decide on which pattern to trade but uh, i think this uh usd and cipher patterns on usd is actually doing really well this is actually a pattern which uh reversed nicely before having a nice 22 pip winner uh this is uh just got stopped out before reversing this is nice also take profit three so I mean, this is this is what I'm talking about when uh, when people want to backtest. Look at different patterns, how they react, and how you can potentially improve on your entries and so on and so forth. All right. Um, for the sake of this video, let's have a look. Let's do one more one more run on this, but maybe on uh, let's try euro yen. It doesn't look like much is happening. Let's try uh, pound yen, godly. Pound yen, godly pattern. Um, yeah, I guess we can do this. Uh, so the Gartley pattern on doesn't look too good, right? It's a loser right here. It's a loser right here. But you know what? That, that's why I say you don't take every pattern that appears on your charts. I mean, there are some winners right here, like like this. If you had a if you had a more aggressive stop loss, it would have been a very nice winner. This was a uh, didn't even hit the first stop loss before going on to hit take profit three for a nice hundred sixty pip winner. So you know um. Polygon, it's it's very simple to use, and it's uh honestly, it's it's been a blessing to use it ever since uh we developed it because even traders have been telling me because uh you know it just really cuts down on your analysis like measuring the ratios and all the different um you know levels Fibonacci levels of patterns. Let's have a look at uh Kiat Yen. Uh, any bad patterns going on? Personally, I don't like the bad pattern. I've never won. I've, I've probably won like uh, one or two bad trades out of maybe a hundred. But you know, uh, that's why whenever I come on Polygon or whenever I get on MT4, I always turn on the Cypher because the Cypher is my favorite, I would have to say. Um, you can try it out. It's up to you, I guess. The Gartley is not too bad, but personally, the Cypher, the Cypher is the one for me. Okay. So we're looking at Cat Yen on the 30 minute chart right now. Uh, and once again, you have all the different patterns. Now, I'm just going to share with you how I cycle through the different patterns. I don't. I personally don't play with all the different toggles because I, I, I do like to see 
all the d- different shapes and charts unless of course i'm back testing but um in this case what i do when i'm on polygon uh and for example i'm coming on to meta trader for now i turn on my polygon i get on cat yen on the 30 minute chart and i see all these different charts what i i see all the different shapes and uh patterns so what i like to do is i like to just cycle through and see that oh, okay you know what zooming in we have potentially a very this is actually a very nice uh cipher pattern to take if you guys are watching cat yen right now this is about 20 pips away the reason why i like this is because uh let me just zoom in, in a bit is because you know we kind of this this pattern right here kind of showed uh, a lot of uh strength and demand in this zone which is also in confluence with our cipher pattern um bullish entry right here so you know this is this is basically my thought process when it comes to looking at patterns uh but this aside uh i usually cycle through the different patterns uh not so many on this maybe in the past yeah but uh but yeah we it's it's kind of lucky that we are looking at a potential cipher pattern right here let me just see if there's any more we have one that's actually running right now uh just miss stop the second the more aggressive stop loss honestly if you were trading if you were trading harmonics i would always recommend taking the second stop loss because this is just this is just too uh too aggressive sorry taking the more conservative stop loss this is stop loss one is always too aggressive but um i personally would not have taken this because for the simple fact that this is uh yeah i mean polygon did identify this leg uh but i don't really see any supply zones coming in here did see a nice reaction but you know it's it, it could patterns are just like that it, it it does it works out sometimes when you don't and it doesn't work out when you want it to but yeah um oh this would have been better honestly the reason why this isn't uh, a more convenient setup is because it's not a very um, obvious leg you know uh the xa leg is uh, not too i mean yeah it is a nice strong move down but this is this is nice, nice and strong. Maybe even here would be better. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I click next, the pattern would come here, but uh, there you go. <laughs> um, I, I like to take patterns that show very strong and obvious uh, leg. And of course, if you, if you were to take this instead of this, your risk would be higher. But you know, it, it all comes down to your rules. And, and this, of course, I'll explain a lot of this. this. There's a lot to say about Polygon. There's a lot to say about harmonic patterns and um, and you know how you can trade them but this is just a very simple polygon 101 when it comes to proper analysis of patterns and how you can you know really really utilize uh, polygon to your advantage i think i'll do that in another video but for today let's keep it simple right so now that we have done the left side and the bottom left side right uh, the next thing we want to look at is the bottom right now we have alert we have safe and we have I actually gone through this already so i don't really need to but um for let, let's stick to this, this example for now right since we are already at it and since i've already spoken a bit about this um cipher pattern potential bullish cipher pattern on the canadian yen on the 30 minute chart we have two different toggles right here the alert and the safe so what happens when you click on alert basically it it alerts you metatrader alerts you when price crosses this uh this this area right this this line right here and this makes it very simple you don't have to set and uh set an alert manually like uh how i would have done last time but all you gotta do is click alert right um right now the how the alert works is that you gotta keep polygon on what it does is that once price crosses through it will ring a bell i think i haven't used this in a long time but uh, i i believe that it will ring a bell on metatrader and you know alert you that is if you're in your room and uh it would be ideal you know to have a an email or an e even a sms alert but you know it's something that we are working on polygon is always a work in progress for us and you know if you like to see something on polygon marco's email is there do let us know <laughs> right so once we have this alert on we don't have to keep it on now but uh the next toggle to the right is the save button right so so this button is actually very useful uh for me i believe because uh when you click save what happens is that if you toggle if you toggle on other patterns right oh, no, 
this is the godly let me try it out if you if you toggle other patterns like the bad pattern oh man it's still safe there you go if you toggle a bad pattern wow that's a really nice pattern uh, <laughs> um uh, that's still a cipher but if you toggle other patterns uh the one that you save will still be there which is useful because you know you you might not want to you might forget and lose it but if you have it safe it's it will always be there so that's a very useful tool for traders to use even if you turn every pattern off it stays there so yeah so now that we have uh, almost everything done the last thing about polygon is um the top right hand section it's the new toggle uh there's no news for this i think uh, oh i think i'm using the older version of polygon but uh basically basically if you were to have if you have the new version of polygon uh Mine says Polygon 2.4.3. The newest version is actually Polygon 2.4 with no number at the back. But basically, if you have the latest version of Polygon, if you click on news, it'll show you the different um, the different uh, news um, forecast that's coming out over the next few days or even the next few hours. So this is useful if you want to, you know, uh, avoid having setups that, uh, that might conflict with the news. Uh, news forecast and stuff like that i'm just you know i'm just casually looking through polygon and you know it's this is this is actually euro usd cipher patterns and uh some are looking really 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 good like uh like this one let's see if we can far ah, right here this one straight shoot up this was a 30 minute pattern i think yeah it says oh, also bottom right uh it's always something to something you need to talk about polygon um, if you are interested in patterns, uh, if you're interested in the calculation of patterns, uh, at the bottom right, it'll show you that uh, the B point of XA is actually 59.8. But if you, for example, we'll do a very simple example for a godly pattern like this, right? Like this, it, sh it shows you that the B, the B point of XA is 62.7. If, if you were, uh, you know, manual trader, you would, you would say that the more, I the most ideal Fibonacci level for XA would be 61 point and this is actually really close to that so you'd probably think that this is a good pattern and this is actually on the 30 minute chart yeah but it looks yeah if you zoom in on the 15 minute chart let me look for it let me look for it yeah if you zoom it in it looks actually it looks a lot nicer but you know this is actually a really good pattern price just uh came into the like I said if you had the alert on right here uh, potentially what you would do is that you know you look for uh, what I like to do is I like to set sell limits and buy limits but if you don't like doing that what you can do is basically wait for MentorTrader to alert you once you have the alert on right um, and you know look for potential uh, reversals and in this case we have a very nice uh, candle which shows indecision and maybe a lot of uh, pressure from the sellers and you know after that it just went down straight away to the to the third tick profit level so yeah this is this is basically a very simple uh, video explaining how you can use polygon and how you can you know uh, use polygon to your advantage there's a lot more to cover um, there's a lot more to say about it uh, but for today we'll keep it at that we'll keep it simple like that so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys download polygon if you haven't Download, go to elementaryfx.com, download it, it's free. If you are interested in signing up with us as a member, uh, all you got to do is uh, register with us. Even if you stay with us for a month, you get Polygon, you get the Polygon Pro version for the rest of your life. And of course, um, members are entitled to unlimited one-on-one -on -one sessions with our team. You know, it's, it's, um, it's just uh, very useful for everyone. And of, and of course, most importantly, if you have uh, questions, let us know in our Telegram chat group. Uh, even You can even email Marco at elementaryx.com or even myself, Nazri, at elementaryx.com. And we'll be glad to you know uh, get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you guys for watching this video. And if not, have a good weekend and I'll see you guys very soon.